It was a cold and wet December day when we touched the ground with LMC. Welcome to the Geist Explorer Comfort i585. What a machine this is. My name's Pete. Welcome to We Buy a Motor Caravan. This thing, it's a bit like me. It's a shorty, but it's a little bit wide. Let's have a look around. So she's a shorty. She's 5.99 meters in length. She's a little bit tippy as well. Well, I think she's a little bit tippy anyway. There's <laughs> profiles at the front to the back. It just looks a little bit wonky. So it does sit ever so strangely on the road because it's 2.3 meters wide as well. So it really feels like it should be a bit longer when you drive it. You start throwing it wide around the bends, but you don't have to because it's just six meters. So it's a strange motorhome in that respect. I actually really like it. This particular one does have gas load. You've got two big canisters there. You've got good storage around here. Payload on this is 765 kilograms. So you have got a good payload on it. If you fancy those barbecues at the end of the day, there's your barbecue point for outside. Finally, if my brand new camera girl, Heather, comes towards me, your garage it's tiny have a look that's it got a bathroom there you see you're gonna need to use the cupboards inside so geist by lmc like i say reintroduced it in 2014 and i can see why made by the erwinheimer group i'm not gonna lie it's built in the burst of factory but that is a little trade secret. Two by bike rack, reverse camera at the top, and what a pretty bum. You wouldn't mind following that bum, would you? That is absolutely beautiful. Now, with it being an A-class, you've got your habitation door on the offside, you've got a cab door on the near side. They are the only two ways into this. Look at that, look how wide it is. What a machine. Let me show you the front. Look at that front. I personally think she's absolutely beautiful. We had a bit of a debate in the office and personally, I think it looks a little bit like a pug dog. It's got a nice squashed face and that's his little nose and his little growler mouth. It makes me happy as Larry, I'm not gonna lie. This makes me happy as Larry. Like I say, it has got that width of 2.3 meters. It is definitely a Marmite front end. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. It's one or the other. Personally, I absolutely love it. I think it is worth every penny of this. Brand shiny new, without all the accessories, you're gonna be mid 70,000 pounds. Even now, you're still commanding around that sort of figure. So, this being on the automatic 2.3 uh, Fiat automatic engine with 130 brake horsepower, it is just stunning. It does look like a pug dog though, doesn't it? There's this little nose, is its ears, and that's, yeah. Look at the interior, absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of like a Western saloon, a bit Larry Hagman with the sort of big Stetson hat. Four belt, but two berth, which I find a little bit weird. You could carry more people than you could sleep. Now there's lots of motor homes where you could sleep more people than you can carry. But this one, you could technically carry more people than you can sleep. And people might th think I've grown. I haven't. That's your overcab bed. Let me show you the cab, actually. So as you can see in this cab, it is built on the six-speed automatic because the new nine-speed hasn't come out yet when this one was built. Multifunctional steering wheel, full climate control. I really like this Zenek media system even comes with its own little remote control, which is really nice. Cab blinds and look at the amount of light you have. If you fall out with your partner, it's not too bad because they're miles away in this. Look at the space there. It is a hell of a machine. Like I say, I haven't grown, but when you're on the big step, you need to be a shorty like me because you haven't got a lot of space here quite a big step there that leads you into the kitchen and into the bathroom but that isn't very much at all here is your overcab bed absolutely beautiful in design 
really like that super super comfy and then when you have a look at the table when my go go gadget arm can find it so that will pull out and that will sit nicely now that will drop and if you buy a few cushions from Dunham or your whichever you like to buy cushions from Ikea Ikea for Dunham Heather Dunham yeah. Dunelm, Dunelm's good. You can fashion that into another two berths. It's not recommended though, because when you step off from that, you're stepping straight onto that. If you break that, you break your warranty. Your choice. You do have quite a big kitchen area for saying that it is only 5.99 meters in length. Three ring gas burner, your sink there. Particularly like all the mood lighting at the top got good cupboard space all round look at that you've got loads of room to put your pots and pans and your tins of tomatoes yeah, everybody likes to make a pasta when they're out and about on these things now one bit that I particularly love about this particular motorhome and they're on all guys and they're bloody brilliant it's the fridge look at this Look at that for a fridge. It just all fits in. And I really like that. So there's your fridge and you've got a little freezer bit at the top. And then that's where you can pop your wine bottles so you can make them nice and cold and nice else as it is German after all. You've got somewhere else to put more pots and pans and tomatoes. Absolutely lovely. And if you listen here, when you press that, listen. I know, yeah. I feel a bit awkward too. But that is your Oyster satellite going up. How cool is that? Self-seeking. Let's show you the bathroom. So the bathroom is at the end of the motorhome. So you can have a pool with a view with a little window there. And like I say, it's actually a really nice size. You've got a great size shower for a teeny weeny motorhome. Really good size shower. Like I say, if you're parked up in some beautiful places, then you've got good sights there. When you come behind the Tetvikasan toilet, you do have more storage space. So yes, the garage is abysmal. However, you've got loads of places to fill that 745 kilogram payload. Yep, definitely. Definitely happy as Larry with this one. So that's it. The Geist by LMC Explorer Comfort i585. I love it. Absolutely love it. Look at that Oyster satellite dish on the top. It is just the best two berth motorhome I've seen in a while. It's a little bit quirky. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit marmite, but hey, aren't we all? My name's Pete, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're happy as Larry, leave a comment as well. Speak to you soon, take care, bye. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.